Chapter Eighteen of Grimm's Fairy Tales, retold in one syllable words. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Doug Fajardo. Grimm's Fairy Tales, retold in one syllable words. By Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Chapter eighteen Clever Hans. One day Hans mother saw him going away, so she asked him, Where do you mean to go, Hans? To Grethel's, said Hans. Well, act right, Hans. I will take care. Good bye, mother. Good bye, Hans. Then Hans came to Grethel. "'Good day,' said he. "'Good day,' said Grethel. "'What have you brought me, Hans?' Uh, I, "'I have not brought a thing. "'Have you something to give me?' Grethel gave Hans a pin. "'Good-bye,' said he. "'Good-bye, Hans.' Hans took the pin, stuck it in a load of hay, and walked home behind the cart. When he got home, he said, "'Good evening, mother.' Good evening, Hans. Where have you been? To Grethel's. What did you give Grethel? Nothing. But Grethel gave me a pen. And where have you put it? In a load of hay. Oh, you should not have done that, Hans. You should have stuck it in your sleeve. Oh, is that so? Well, I will do that next time. The next time Grethel gave Hans a knife. When he reached home, his mother asked, "'What did you get this time, Hans?' "'A knife,' said Hans. "'And where did you put it?' "'In my sleeve.' Uh, "'You should not have done that, Hans. You should put knives in your pocket.' "'Oh, is that so? Well, I will do that next time.' Hans soon went again to Grethel's, and Grethel gave him a young goat. He tied its legs. Put it in his pocket, and just as he reached home it died for want of air. His mother asked, "'What did you get this time, Hans?' "'A goat.' "'And where did you put it, Hans?' "'In my pocket.' "'Oh, you should not have done that, Hans. You should have tied it with a rope and led it home.' "'Is that so? Well, I, I will do that next time.' The next time Grethel gave Hans a piece of pork. Hans took the pork, tied it with a rope, and swung it to and fro. Then the dogs came and ate it up. When he reached home, he held nothing but the rope in his hand. His mother asked, What did you get this time, Hans? A piece of pork. And where did you put it? I tied it with a rope, swung it to and fro. And the dogs came and ate it up. You should have carried it on your head. Is that so? Well, I will do that next time. The next time Grethel gave Hans a calf. He set the calf on his head, and it kicked him in the face. When he told his mother of it, she said, Oh, you should not have done that, Hans. You should have led the calf home and put it in the stall. Is that so? Well, I will do that next time. The next time he went to see Grethel, she said she would go home with him. So he put the rope around her neck, led her home, and tied her in the stall. When his mother asked him what he had brought this time, he said, I brought home Grethel herself. And where have you left her? I tied her with a rope, put her in the stall, and threw in some grass. You did not act right, Hans. You should have cast sheep's eyes at her. Is that so? Well, I will do that now. So Hans went to the barn, took all the eyes out of the sheep, and threw them in Grethel's face. That made Grethel so cross that she broke loose, ran away, 
and became the bride of someone else. End of chapter 18 Clever Hans